Hey, that's not funny. Wasn't asking your opinion. Hey there, Mission Control. In this video, we're gonna continue working on our stalls. Got the chicken stall, the cow stall, they're all done up. I still got more work to do in the chicken stall, but we're gonna come back to it after we get everything framed in because I gotta see how much lumber we have left. Uh, the primary objective here is to get everything closed in. For those that are brand new, we're doing this uh, for a few reasons. One, uh, we've been fabricating in here for LifePod 2 and we have more fabrication to do. We have the grow towers that we need to fabricate and we'll be doing that here. In the winter time, like what we've been through and now winter is finally coming to an end here and we got spring happening. The, the stalls, bedding and all that, it, it's wet, it's damp. Uh, there's not a huge safety issue uh, if some sparks fly in there like what we had. But uh, as things are drying out now, uh, we definitely have a safety issue. So we needed to get this whole bottom section closed off so that when we're grinding, when we're welding, sparks can't go into the bedding uh, during the uh, spring and summer months, early fall. Uh, and start a fire because that would be horrible and horrendous and bad and all those things. Uh, another reason why uh, is that the animals, they don't know what a welder is. So when they're in here eating, uh, they need to have some form of protection. So we put this window in here because I do want to interact with the animals still. That's a very important part of our ranch here is be able to interact with the animals. As you can see, they're not scared of us. Um, so we want to see them normally, and they, we want them to see us normally. We don't want it to be like a prison where they, you know, they just never see us. Uh, so this area here is meant to either have a welding sheet or a tarp put up over it, or I can even probably fabricate like a little window slide in here with some really thin plastic, you know, like uh, plexiglass, thin sheet, eighth inch type of thing, put that up in there. Uh, so that's, another, that's number two reason. Number three reason, you notice there's fencing here. Uh, to stop things from coming in here like a chicken uh, or birds. Uh, we have lots of roosting issues uh, with bird swallows. They're, swallows are a great bird to have on a ranch. You want them to eat insects. They're really, really good. Uh, so we don't want them going away, but they come in here and make a mess uh, and roost up in the rafters. So this is going to stop that problem as well as the chicken coming in or the chickens because Boss Betsy will certainly teach all the new chickens her little trick of coming in here and crapping all over all of our tools. So uh, those are three reasons for people brand new. Today I got to take the ladder down uh, and then we really got to get this stall done and get the ladder back up so I can get up there and feed him tonight. So enough talky talky. We're going to get in here and remove this guy. I nailed that one? Don't use nails ever. Always use screws. I'll tell you why, because I didn't know what I was doing at the time. Didn't realize how many mistakes I make in my life. Hey, that's not funny. Wasn't asking your opinion. Get over there. There we go. And this is a little interesting problem. So the prior owners cut a section out of the stall up above so they can throw hay and stuff down. And they actually had the ladder here, that a stairwell, which I thought is a waste of space because this is where you want to feed the critters and do all that stuff. Um, you can have a ladder out there that I built, so I moved it. But when they did this, they put this beam in, as they should have, and the beam's a little twisted. Now it is, uh, it is straight plumb, I guess, but it's twisted. So what my plan is here, we're going to have to get these floorboards in, the pressure treated, and then this one over here, I think we're going to have to pinch it pretty good so that it twists it straight and we get a straight surface here. Otherwise, it's not that big a deal because it's gonna get covered by plywood. Um, but you know, it'd be better, it needs to just rotate that way just a little bit by that much, in fact, quarter of an inch. All right, moment of truth. I took the measurement to the inside and added the quarter inch that it needed here. So now, if it's gonna cooperate, now would be a good time to do so. But that's gonna be tight. No doubt about that. It doesn't look like it's turning too much. I'm biting into the board there. But it ain't turning the board. All well, good news is that thing, the horses were rubbing up against that thing. They didn't put any bracing into the cement. They just set it on top so it could move in there. 
you know, we're just gonna have to compensate for the twist. Okay, well, all the support framing is done. Now we need to do the trim around the windows, or not trim, but the fence holder thingabobbers around the windows, and uh, we off to the races then. Oh, of course. Oh, it's in there. All Well, it is day three, day three, three days. One, two, three, four, day four, day four. <laughs> she's mad at me. She realizes she's not gonna be able to come in here and poop on everything anymore. Yeah, chicken, you're not gonna be able to poop on everything anymore. Huh? You can't get through here anymore. We got it all done as far as all the framing and uh, the stalls go. You can see right here, this is uh, what I was talking about where I needed to extend it. It used to have fence all the way up to here. Now I extended that out. That way when we drop hay down, uh, the hay comes right through here and doesn't come out in this area. It just keeps it a lot cleaner. Should have thought of that first, but then, but fixed it nonetheless. Um, that also gives the horses a nice place and cows, you know, when they're eating, if I'm in here working, they're not going to get flash or anything. Stairs are back in. Uh, they're in there a lot better than what they were before. And we've got doors everywhere that work really great. And again, this is one of the things that if you're just building stalls, you want them to open all the way. Uh, and that is because if you bring the tractor in here, um, I mean, it's easy to illustrate right here, you know, you bring your tractor and if it can only open that far, then you gotta be all the way out here, which means you have to throw your manure all the way, which usually gets it all to the floor, it makes yourself have to do more work. And who wants to do more work? I mean, working hard is good, but doing more work sucks. So uh, this turned out really nice. Really happy with this. Uh, there are mistakes. Uh, especially in these darn doors. This one here came out, had some mistakes in it, but I'm just not going to show you. I told you those will have to come visit and see the mistakes if you want to see mistakes. But uh, man, what a huge difference. What, what a way better feel. Uh, totally stopped our sparks uh, problem. Remember, there's the three reasons why. Safety for sparks, you know, they're going to hit this and not have a problem. Uh, and then I can get the, uh, put a tarp up over this area or get the welding uh, sheets that I was talking about, um, the clear fabric or clear plastic that stops the flash. It's not really clear, it's kind of opaque a little. Anyway, I can get that, put that up, and then we stop the flash from getting to the animals. And we have stopped Betsy and all the future chickens, although she's right over there. Let's see if I can catch her. Come here, Betsy. Come here, Come here Betsy. Come here. You darn chicken, come here. You're not gonna poop on everything anymore. Let's get her to go into one of these stalls here. See if I can do this. Will she go where I want? Go in the stall, Betsy. There you go. All right. No, she's not gonna do that. Maybe if I open this other one here. No, she's gonna be like that. She's gonna be like that. There we go, all right. No more Betsy. Sorry about boss Betsy, you ain't getting in here no more. That means is all of our stuff that Betsy was pooping on, I get to go clean eventually. Uh, that's not a top priority, but it does need to be done. This all obviously needs to be cleaned up. We still have some horse tack to hang up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet, but quite a few days to get here. We still have more to do though. Uh, in the next video, what I'm gonna be working on, we've got the door to put on, so we're gonna build a sliding door using hardware I've recovered from an old door that has been busted. 
Uh, we need to build the chicken shack, the hen house, whatever you want to call it. It's a roosting um, bench, essentially, uh, for the chickens. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we're gonna work on the uh, seals for the doors so that when it rains, we don't get water coming in here. And that pretty much tidies this place up uh, as far as making it so we can fabricate. Now, you know, water will stay out. That was a huge problem. We got all this taken care of. That was a huge problem. And uh, I got electrical boxes to place too. So a lot more to do, but uh, we're getting there. And now the weather's really nice. So that also means I have fencing that I need to fix. Uh, the cows were in the front yard this morning eating, which, you know, if you need to uh, find a way to have your yard trimmed and not, you you know, waste gas, just let the animals eat it. Um, but that's not a good sign that uh, the cow got out. That means the electrical fence is busted somewhere and uh, we need to go find that and fix it. And fixing fence is one of the things I hate the most about owning a ranch, being on a homestead. Uh, everybody does. So. Thanks for following along, a lot more to do. We have lots of work to get done for us here, Mrs. Martian and I, so that we are ready and prepared for spring and summer. We have a lot of work to do for Eden. Uh, we have a new neighbor. Uh, we're gonna be helping him out. Uh, I feel like it's kind of like the Great Depression, you know, like I used to be an aerospace engineer making a bunch of money and now I'm doing physical labor to help people uh, so I can get some money to help pay the bills. So, uh, oh, how times change, it's very humbling. And uh, anyway, we have a lot to do. It is overwhelming. Uh, we're just gonna put our head down and get it done though. So thanks for following along. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon, uh, on Instagram as well. So uh, thanks everyone again. This is Real Martian, out.